Welcome back everybody for the Smoke and Android. My name is Jared and today for all of my Atrix 4G fans out there we have a new update to the Neutrino ROM. Neutrino ROM version 2.9. Yeah! Bit of a small incremental update uh, with a nice amount of um, changes and tweaks and things like that. I would have liked to see it update to 3.0, especially after this, like, I don't know how long it's been since the last Neutrino ROM update. Um, however, an update is better than no update, right? So, anyways, getting into it now, um, one thing you'll notice is, uh, well, first thing I wanted to mention is that it is based off of the latest CM7 nightly. So, uh, obviously, you've got all the merges and everything like that, all the latest files ready to go. You know, performance improvements, bug fixes, things like that. Um, but apparently the theme has also been polished a little bit more. So that's nice to see. Um, I personally don't use my Atrix as a daily driver anymore. So I probably won't be able to point out any of those um, changes that he has made. However, the, he does uh, actually have some new status bar icons apparently. So that's nice to see. And um, some small changes to the status bar that he's made. Some subtle changes that he's, uh, that he's mentioned in his change log. None of which I've been able to see myself yet. Um, however, that's definitely definitely something for you to discover on your own. Uh, one thing that he did mention is that the phone slash contacts application has been changed a bit to give it a more of a ICSE type look to it. Um, it doesn't really look a whole lot different to me, mind you. It's been a long time since I've been, uh, since, since I've used Neutrino ROM, so there may be some, uh, some minor changes here that I'm just not picking up on as of right now. Um, one of the biggest things, though, that I think is really cool about the new update for this ROM is that it actually comes with an over-the-air updater. Now, the problem I've been having with this is that, well, first First of all, make sure you have Wi-Fi turned on or you have a data connection, otherwise the application will work for you. And if you have a throttle data connection or a throttle data plan, I'm sorry, you probably want to use Wi-Fi because even though the Neutrino ROMs are um, very, very small in file size, obviously it, there's, it's not necessary to download through data. But anyways, moving on. Um, so this is what we come up with as soon as you launch the application. As you can see here, uh, there's already been an update to version 2.91 as opposed to 2.9. Now, if I was to go ahead and click download, it's supposed to go ahead and download download the ROM for me and then I can select wipe data or just wipe cache if it's just an update and I don't want to lose all my data I can just go ahead and do so now if I was to go ahead and click install what it'll do is launch right into my recovery but I'm assuming since I'm running um, team win recovery projects recovery it's they're not it's not really set up for sort of over the air automatic um, download applications to sort of like launch into recovery and uh, and 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 wipe the, the you know the cache or the data uh, all automatically and install it all automatically. Um, if I hit install, it just jumps into recovery. Um, obviously, the file has not been downloaded, so there's nothing for me to flash, unfortunately. So it's just not working for me. I know that it's been working for a couple other people. I've been reading the forum thread, and it is working, just not for me. Some of the other uh, little modification that he's made is um, including, for instance, the new um, smooth spinner. So when you're like in the Play Store searching for something or anything for that matter, the little spinner icon that you see uh, spinning around there is now smoothed out. So uh, that's a nice little uh, addition. Mind you, I thought that's always been a part of Neutrino ROM, but again, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've used it. Um, in addition to that, it's got like some more uh, build-up prop tweaks to obviously improve smoothness and, and fluidity and things like that. I can tell you right now, um, if this is the first time you're ever going to be flashing Neutrino ROM, this is probably hands down the best fastest and most lightweight ROM you will find gingerbread ROM wise that mind you um, for your Motorola Atrix in fact I'd like to pit it against a lot of other devices you know quickest and fastest ROMs um, this is definitely arguably one of the fastest ROMs I have ever come across on any device period um, aside from that we've got something cool this is something I noticed right away He's actually changed the settings menu to be more ICSE. So as you can see here, now it's broken down. So you got wireless networks, you've got device, personal, and of course we go down to system. We've got all the different options there. Um, you know, obviously all the all the options are exactly the same as before. Maybe with the exception of a couple of icon changes here. Um, but it's really nice to see that he's actually broken that up to kind of give it that ice cream sandwich esque type feel to it. Um, you know, obviously moving forward to modern operating systems or modern Android versions these days, that's uh, that's always really, really nice to see. Um, aside from that, he's actually, as far as um, other updates and things like that go, um, as you can see, I mean, there's no huge, huge changes here. There's a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, such as updated hosts, uh, updated the super user app, updated the script 
uh, manager app and actually updated all the kernels across the three different versions of ROMs, obviously the EE, the GT, and the GT+. Plus. Um, he's updated the uh, kernels to uh, Fox 123's latest 026B1 kernels. So obviously you'll have the latest and greatest from Fox there running and powering your device for you. Um, really great stuff to see. I'm really glad to see that Neutrino is still at it. I'm really hoping and, and curious to hear uh, about whether or not he is going to in fact jump over to 3.0. I'm going to run out, jump out on a limb here and say that he is in fact going to be updating to 3.0 eventually and continue working on this ROM considering there is a new over the year updater. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of a, a dead giveaway. Of course, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you all to go and download. Um, one thing that I will mention is that if you go to the main, to the original post on the thread and you click on the add-ons those add-ons are not available and are rarely available so uh, there was a nice gentleman and I forget the name but so you're gonna have to forgive me if you are the one who's watching this but he's actually um, created a mirror and uh, I'll be posting that in the link uh, a link to that in the description below a link to all the add-ons so make sure that you download the add-ons pack now when you download the add-ons pack it will come in a zipped up file um, you're gonna want to make sure that you actually extract that add-ons package into its own folder because that will actually extract and unload all of the different add-ons and you can obviously just kind of select which which add-ons you want and then drag and drop it into your SD card um, as necessary so anyways really fantastic stuff there oh and one more thing obviously if this is the first time you're flashing this particular ROM you're gonna want to flash the ROM and then flash the add-ons right after don't reboot or anything like that just flash the ROM and then flash the add-ons right after and obviously no data wipe nothing like that after the ROM's been flashed or the add-ons have been flashed just a little tip to you guys uh, to make sure that your uh, flashing experience is nice and smooth anyways guys thanks for watching again um, if you did like this video give it a likes or a thumbs up if you will and uh, you might want to subscribe for more videos like this in the future I will continue to do videos on the Atrix because, hell, it's the Atrix. It's the OG, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. My name's Jared. Until next time, we shall see you guys in the next video. Cheers.